Oh my gosh, Christmas stuff is already out. It's already out, it's only October. scented things you put on your tree make them smell like real trees all the christmas stuff is coming out now all the christmas stuff good morning guys welcome to today today i'm in home depot again my favorite store actually i like the way it's set up it's organized a bit better than like lowe's i get confused when i walk into lowe's but anyways so I'm in the bug section. So I gotta get rid of those boxwood beetles, I guess they're called. They're like just so many of them and the water and uh, soap is not doing a good enough job. It kills them, but like only 10% of them and then I find them all over again. So I'm gonna try to find something good to use. So this is what I got from Home Depot. It was the only thing they actually had. And it does everything, but I actually sprayed it on these bugs and the holes and stuff where they are and it doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm back to my soap and water and soap and water actually worked not too bad, but uh, the problem is it only kills like 10% of them. Not even 10%, like, I don't know, maybe I put not enough soap in there. So I might put a little bit more soap and try and get rid of these damn bugs. They're everywhere. Funny thing is, they never came out in the spring, and they usually come out in spring and fall. And our spring was kind of wet, so maybe that's why they didn't come out. But they're everywhere now. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I got Gabby here. We're standing inside watching Sam spray those horrible bugs. They're so bad this year. If you go outside, you know you're bringing 20 in on your head or on your body or... He sprays them every day, and they die, and they just keep coming back. But anyway, Gabby, what were we just doing? When we the finished homeschool. MBTI test. The MBTI Personality test. test. Personality test. And they're so accurate though. What did you get? I didn't take it because I already took it. Right. When you took it, what did you get? INTP. INTP it means that she's an introvert. That's all the only thing I know. And she's like similar in personality to Albert Einstein and some anime people. I'm an extrovert. Anyway, Sam got, what did dad get? I guess. Oh, but what did it mean? Something about a loyal. Defender. A loyal defender, and that is him. Like, it said he's a, a quiet, loyal defender, and he is, like, that's the thing about him. He always is like, takes care Wait, of us. Did I get INFJ? I don't know, and I got. ISFJ or something. I'm a protagonist, E-N-F-J-T, I'm an inspiring optimist, readily taking action to do what I feel is right. Anyways, they're really cool. It's hard to find one that you don't have to pay for, though. Uh, we just searched up free personality tests. It tells you, like, so much about who you are inside and, and how you act. And if you're an introvert or an extrovert, and if you don't know what that means. If you're an introvert, you're, like, more quiet and more private. And if you're an extrovert, you're, like, out there making noise, talking, always, like... The one that starts the conversation and so I don't know I had like five kids and only one other extrovert besides me. Nick. Nick is an extrovert. Nick is 100% an extrovert. You think he's an extrovert? Yeah. And he he's is. a quiet extrovert. He's not an annoying extrovert. <laughs> like who? Who's you? <laughs> it's true. I'm a... I am a annoying extrovert. He's it's true. Quiet, but he's friends with everybody. But like Nick wherever is. Wherever he goes, he sees a friend. I'm like, yeah. how many friends do you have? Aww, I love that. But yeah, out of five kids, only one is an extrovert like me, and it is him. And, and, and he's annoying. <laughs> he's just as annoying as me. Those are the carcasses for today. But honestly, they're like still flying everywhere. Sam says he's fighting a, a losing battle with the bugs. I also stabbed myself today, and it really hurts. Oh, those bugs. It hurts because I was trying to get wax out of something, like, you know, those wax melters? I was trying to get it out, and I was pushing the knife towards me, and I stabbed myself. Oh, man, it hurts. 
look at this package we just got you guys it is awesome i know what's in here i'm excited i'm so excited about this i can't wait to show you all right so somehow we ended up out here shopping it's nice out here I where like yeah it's gorgeous it's like a summer day where are we headed yeah i'm always okay, in a good mood so I am i always in a jump. good mood i have a story okay Shh. okay i definitely didn't jump when someone said excuse me and um yeah she wanted so i helped her pick out an apron thing so uh, some lady at the store asked your opinion yes of something and you weren't freaked out oh i was <laughs> so what did you do I gave my opinion, and I'm guessing she's going to go with that. <laughs> it's whenever red, somebody red, gives me their red. opinion, whenever I say, hey, what do you like better? And they tell me, I always go with the opposite. Because in the end, I always trust myself above other people. All right, so we're headed into Michael's because this is what we do, you guys. We're not crafty people, but we try. We both have our own ideas about what we want to get. Or every time I walk by stuff like this, I'm like, oh, this is cute. <gasps> Is it me or is it just me or do you? I oh, know I love your hair. Look at that. I could embroider this and it would be so cute. I would love to. I want this too. Oh, it's only $12.99. I want to get that so I can embroider it. I want to get this just to wear it. I love it. Yeah, they're sold out. I think you're supposed to make the shirt or something. DIY your Halloween look with our Cricut maker. I love Ooh, that. Though. I like the skeleton one too. I think you buy the t-shirt and then you embroider or and then you but I love that I want to oh, yeah, DIY your own. I literally want to buy this and embroider it now that I'm obsessed with embroidery I want this shirt. see here are all the shirts so the next thing that Sophie wants to do is felting have you guys seen that felting I wanted to see if they have like iron-on transfers for for embroidery and it looks like they just have like little kits like this or they have these kits with all the threads and the embroidery and these are expensive they're like fifty dollars and you can buy like on amazon you can buy transfers iron on transfers and they're so cheap they're like six bucks nothing brings out your desire to craft more than fall let's go find sophie hello missy what do, do? what do you want to do i want to get like one of these things or something and this is a bunch. Oh, this is a form foam board multi pack. Um, I don't like get a bunch of these things and make like a living thing and then use like bones and stuff to make like little houses. Oh, yeah, like, like you can make a terrarium. Like you can get a glass container and put moss and make, and, like, or you can even make like a fairy. Yeah. yeah, I want to do a fairy thing. All right, that's cool. Can I do that? I think you should do that. Cause look at, oh, holy moly, mother of God. Look at this little tiny mushroom thing, $16. I think you need to save up for this one. Save up for this one, sister. I can't find the glue and stuff yet. Yeah, that's expensive. And look, there's all the moss and stuff. I think you should though. I think you and dad should do it together cause dad's into that kind of stuff. I need this kind of thing. Yeah. Tree lands to keep. You should do a Christmas one. Fairyland for oh, Christmas. Yeah, it doesn't even come with any of the figures. They have punch needle stuff over in the kid section. I didn't even know. So this is like the next medium that I want us to use. We are going to do this. They call it fluff, but it's like felting. So I think I need to get more information on it before I just start buying stuff. But it's so, so super cool. I want clay because it's so fun to play with. We have clay. Not this clay. This clay is actually for playing with. What color? I also think that this stuff looks really fun. We are at the grocery store getting the rest of our Thanksgiving Day uh, meal. We and have unicorn mac and cheese now. We have unicorn macaroni and cheese now. I'm Brooklyn and Jake can come over. I can cook this for them too. You want to get it? Yes. Okay. We never go to this store, but I actually love this store. It's far away from this, this store makes me happy. $3.99. Ginormous bag. I got two. So in this store, they have like all the mega packs of stuff. So this is the gum that oh, I eat. I don't want that. It used to be eleven ninety nine. Now it's thirteen ninety nine. I'm so hungry right now, you guys. Do not go shopping when you're hungry. Look at all the mints. We could buy them. Yeah, I know. I want these for Willow. No, Will cannot have that giant bag of treats. Are you you're crazy? Right. 
Yeah. No, but look at these Starburst. Mm, we should buy these. We should buy this. Yeah. You know what? No. no, the reason. No. What? Surprise. Oh, surprise bags, boxes. Thirty-two dollars. So, anyways, mm -hmm. I don't buy this stuff because we would these, eat it. These no. Are the best. But if you buy, I love so big Turk chocolate bars. I've never had that. Mm. Ooh, what about this? 14 chocolate bars. No. Anyways, let's keep on moving on. Don't bypass walk down the candy. Yeah, don't walk down the candy aisle. It's so much. Oh, look at these. Cheez Its for Halloween. Cheez It crackers. No, green Twizzlers. They're, They're cute. Lime. Oh, they look They're good. Key edition. lime. Key lime pie. No. I'll have you know that on a regular day, I get way less sugar. Um, Where's the sugar? That we got There's the sugar. That's not sugar, that's fruit. No, that's sugar. Juice. We don't usually buy juice, but we need it for the grandkids. So that's just hot and spicy cheese it's at a different store. And a yeah, we were so factory. hungry when we were at the at the craft store that we bought a small box of these, bag of these. And then we're like, let's get them. They're so good. Yeah. I found them. They were like almost gone. And I bought these because Gabby in her car. We bought cookies. We because never bought. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Why does this stuff fall out of the cart? That was annoying. God's telling we us didn't not put to. These things up. God is saying, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Anyway, we haven't had these cookies in a lot of years because we never come to this store. Oh. We got these because, like, we got this at the dollar store before and it was great. And I wanted to try the Nanamo bar one. Yeah, so. so it's a bad month. Yeah. How are you today? Good, how are you? And I also came to buy these. It's chicken and my grandkids love them. Sophie doesn't let anybody else pack. She does it herself always because she thinks that she's the only one who can do a good job. Okay, all the sugary stuff goes in. Hurry, you gotta be fast. If you're gonna be a packer, you gotta be a fast packer. It doesn't help, I can't grab it. So we're at the barn and everybody left me. Everybody left me because our friends have finally arrived back at lessons. I see a man staring at me. I don't have a treat. Hi, handsome. Look at how cute you are. Oh, you're so cute. Look how black you are. You remember how Storm gets so black? Don't fall. Don't Hi. I didn't bring any treats. Hello, handsome. <laughs> Brothers, brothers. Hello, Hello, big guy. Hello. Storm, are you enjoying your life? You enjoying your life here? Barely doing any work. <laughs> yeah. Lessons have calmed down because it's summer's over. So the horses are all relaxing. He's like, get away from my people. <laughs> Isn't that funny though? Get away from my people. Aww. Do you want to know something? What? Grass tea's good. I actually it's like grass too. To I know, I like it too. It's sweet. Aww. He always has that dopey look. He always has that look like he's tired. He's like, thank you for the scratches, but see how funny they are? Like, they know. That one's cute. I think this is either Gator or Rio. I think it's Hello. Gator. Hello. Gator. I'll bring you treats at the end of the day, okay? The end of the lesson? He's like, fine, if you it's don't like, have treats. All right, everybody beat me out today. I'm the last one. You know how, though? They trick me. They're like, can you get me water? And then poof, I'm the last one. This is our little group, you guys. We lost Elizabeth. She's in another night now. We lost Shay. She's on another night. Kept it simple. All right, so the kids are all up on their horses, and all the parents are just over here gabbing away. That's good, Gabby, that you saw she didn't register you were saying rail, and then you kept saying it until she did register it. Much better than a collision. <laughs> Jane thinks we should go inside. Last time we rode, if you haven't ridden in the dark, you have not lived. I want to go inside. Riding in the dark is so fun. I'm getting eaten. 
When we go on our trail ride, Julia, it's going to be at night. <laughs> you can just sit there. The horses know what to do. That was the grand finale. Grand finale was... The moon's not full enough to jump anymore. Oh my gosh, we need to get fireworks. <laughs> Put fireworks underneath the jump. Phew! So everybody can see you when they go over. <laughs> you would actually die. You would all die. Yeah. Riding by firecrackers, by fireworks. I mean, yeah, I know. I love it out here. Like, it's cozy. Doesn't don't you feel cozy being out in the dark with all your friends? In about 10 minutes, you'll hear the coyotes. In 10 minutes, you'll hear the coyotes. Let's get out of here. Don't you know that you're